Hello, this video will be about electric motors because people keep asking me questions where I bought my motors or what motors they should choose. When choosing motors, it is also important to pay attention at gearbox ratio as this is what determines the speed of your lawnmower. We will calculate the recommended speed and the wheel size at the end of this video. So let's get started. For my lawnmower project, I bought old electric wheelchair from which I used electric motors. I spent 250 euros on it. Motors run on 24 volts and have 350 watts of power, which is enough for my lawnmower and there is a plenty of power to spare. Unfortunately, I did not have the opportunity to weight the mower and I believe that this information would be a great value for many people. The motor speed is 160 rpm. The wheelchair had the final speed of 10 km per hour, so I have to build a gear transmission which reduces the speed to 3 km per hour. The speed of commercial remote control lawnmower is between 3 and 5 km per hour. I do not recommend more than 5 km per hour because the mower don't have the suspension and it bounces when moving and also the petrol engine struggles to keep up with the speed. These motors had a brake that had to be disabled when motors were running. I have removed the brake. Overall, I am very satisfied with the motors. The other motors that I recommend are MY1016 Z3 from China. You can buy them on Amazon or eBay. These are 24 volts, 350 watts motors that spin at 300 rpm. These motors are meant to be used on electric bikes, so the final speed is too high for lawnmower use. With 25 cm or 10 inch wheels, the motor speed has to be reduced by using a gearbox at ratio 1 to 4. We will take a look at the speed table at the end of this video. I made a lawnmower for colleague with these motors and I can say that they are of good quality and have enough power even for a little larger lawnmower. And the third option for electric motors I would point out is the 24 volt 250 watts and 75 rpm wheelchair motors from China which I like the most. There is also a 120 rpm version of these motors. They have a gear transmission that reduces the speed to 75 rpm, which on typical 25 cm or 10 inch wheels means a top speed of 3 km per hour, which is just what we are looking for. The motors are compact and come with a gear transmission and the axle on which you mount the wheels. This is particularly suitable for people who are not mechanical engineers and find it difficult to build a separate gearbox to reduce the speed. The motors are cheap and cost around 80 euros and are also suitable for four-wheel drive. There are already a number of similar four-wheel drive movers on YouTube with these motors. I would point out that four-wheel drive movers have a problem with turning and especially with zero turn as it requires a lot of torque and this is usually a problem if the mower is too heavy. I recommend that you use four motors for four-wheel drive. Some people use two motors and then connect two wheels with a chain to each motor. However, I don't recommend it. You will probably end up with four motors anyway. Look carefully at these videos on YouTube where they make zero turn and you will see that the majority struggles to turn. That's why the track drive version is more suitable 
but a bit more challenging to build. Also, two motors are usually sufficient if you use tracks. Now, let's take a look at the table I have prepared to calculate the final speed of the lawnmower. As already mentioned, the desired final speed is between 3 and 5 km per hour. I recommend 3 km per hour. I have already prepared some example, examples of the motors I talk about in this video. My motors, then the Chinese 350 watts motors for electric bikes, and Chinese wheelchair motors, one with 75 rpm and another with 120 rpm. Now let's see how you can calculate the speed of your lawnmower. I will paint the first line in green color. Okay, so we can see it better. First, enter the RPM of your electric motor here. Then the diameter of the wheel you are going to buy and the speed will be calculated automatically using the formula I enter in Excel spreadsheet. You can play around with the values to work out what motors or wheels you need and whether you need to build an extra gearbox to reduce the speed. So we come to the end of this video. I will include the link uh, to the Excel spreadsheet for calculating the speed of the lawnmower in the description, description section uh, to save you some time. I hope that the tips have been useful and I have made someone's job easier and maybe encouraged them to build their own lawnmower. If you have any questions, write me in the comment section. Please support my channel by thumbs up and subscribe. And see you in next video another time. Bye.